We would like to acknowledge that the land on which we're gathered here today is the land traditionally used by the Haudenosaunee, the Anishinaabe, and the neutral people. It is the land situated on the original Haldeman Tract. We also acknowledge the enduring presence and deep traditional knowledge, laws, and philosophies of the Indigenous people with whom we are gathered here today. Let us take this time calling upon God's Holy Spirit to be here with us, within us, and all around us. And we mark ourselves with a sign of God's great love for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, let your Spirit come upon us and fill us with peace. Through your love, help us to find the courage to share our gifts with the world. May your Holy Spirit inspire our graduates to be able to reflect upon their years here at Resurrection in a positive, positive and hope-filled way. Pour out your spirit of love into their hearts and empower them to bring unity and peace into the world. Be with them always, Lord, in every step they make. Bless our virtual gathering and may it be an outward sign of our pride and celebration of the graduating class of 2021. Amen. Hello, graduates. On behalf of the Board of Trustees for Waterloo Catholic, congratulations. You have worked tremendously hard over the years to get here today. This past year and a half has been very different. It's been difficult and challenging with changes happening often, and we are sad we aren't able to celebrate in person. We fully recognize you may be feeling many different emotions, excitement, joy, maybe some nerves or anxiety about what's next. We want you to know that we support you and honor your achievements as you reach this important and memorable time in your life. We know you persevered with passion through the tough times, were mindful as you enjoyed the moments with friends and family, and you were hopeful and confident that you would reach this moment of graduation. As a Catholic school system, we strive to provide a quality, inclusive, and faith-based education for all students. This past year, we focused our pastoral theme on Gathered to Become. We all continue on a path of transformation and reflect on what it is we are called to do and how we can gather to become one and united to foster togetherness and compassion in the world. Thank you to all the teachers, staff, and family and friends who have supported you all along this journey. We would like to recognize this very challenging time in our world. Our current reality has left many hurt and disappointed, but we also see hope, and that hope is in all of you. This is a time to celebrate and to be proud of all you have achieved. 
As you look forward to your next journey, whatever that may be, remember to stay true to who you are, stand up for what you believe in, and enjoy the moments that come. Congratulations. We wish you all the best. Dear graduates of Waterloo Catholic, it is my sincere pleasure to offer you a few words of congratulations on this, the occasion of your graduation. I hope that you are gathered this evening and that you have the opportunity to celebrate with those who have supported you on your journey. Please be assured and know the staff of Waterloo Catholic are certainly celebrating your accomplishments today. No doubt, as you think back on your high school experience, you will reflect in a particular way on the last year and a half. We know that we would have hoped for you for a different experience, but this pandemic has perhaps taught you some serious lessons that you can take on in your life's journey. Certainly, it has taught all of us the importance of relationship and of human connection. But I think about the concept of the mask, something that we've been invited to wear for the past year and a half. And while it hid your smile, it did not define you. It could not hide your true personality. It could not hide your accomplishments. And I think that's a little bit of a metaphor for life and for this experience of the pandemic. It does not define your high school experience. It has perhaps taught you some life lessons. It has perhaps toughened you and strengthened you in ways you hadn't expected. It has perhaps made you more resilient and perhaps has taught you the true meaning of grit and perseverance. And this pandemic has not defined your entire high school experience. We hope that when you think back on this time, that you will also think of the Waterloo Catholic vision statement, which proclaims part of the community, success for each, a place for all. We hope that is what you have found in your high school over the course of your experience there. We hope that as you go out and leave your secondary schools, that you are feeling that indeed you have the capacity to go out and define your world, to transform your world. When we say that in our mission statement, we are hoping that as Catholic graduates, you take the life lessons that you've learned, the Catholic values that you've learned, and you go out and impact your world. We have full confidence in you graduates. We could not be more proud of you. And on behalf of the entire board, I wish to offer you my sincerest congratulations and wish you every success and every happiness on your journey forward. Congratulations. Hello to all of you, our graduating class of 2020. On behalf of Mr. Eby, Ms. Kraftchuk, Mr. Modelo, and myself, I want to extend our sincere admiration for your determination, resilience, and accomplishment of graduating from high school. The opportunity to celebrate a traditional graduation ceremony was not possible at this time. However, this milestone is an important part of your journey. As a class, you are certainly aware of what you have missed. It might be easy for us to reduce last year to a footnote and generalize by saying, Class of 2021, that was a pandemic year. You didn't get a normal education. True, it was anything but normal, but last year doesn't need a disclaimer. It needs a celebration. You are Phoenix warriors and need to take the opportunity to reflect on how you grew last year because of the pandemic. I would like to suggest that there was loss, but you also experienced gains. Without a doubt, you developed and were able to illustrate skills such as flexibility, adaptability, self-motivation, responsibility, and independence. Let's go back and reflect on your first day of grade nine as you walked into the building filled with expectations, excitement, and some nerves. Think about what you have learned, friendships you have gained, and skills you have developed. Your teachers found joy in sharing the classroom with you where you demonstrated your creativity, knowledge, and passion for learning. The forum became a place to gather, hang out, and meet up with friends. The gym became the area for your determination, grit, and teamwork. The stage became your opportunity to perform, shine, and bring joy to others. Each of you had a place where you were called to belong. Your experience of high school has given you the opportunity to learn and grow as an individual in a community using all of the gifts that God has given you. 
In different areas of this building, you became educated with the highs and lows that were a part of adolescent life. Overall, the real goal of education is that of becoming. Gathered to become more capable and independent than when you started high school. And now, even with everything that is going on around us, we have hope. As a Resurrection staff, we hope we have educated your young minds and your young hearts. We hope you understand some of the core messages that we have spoken to in your years of high school. That no matter your background, culture, race, we may be different on the outside, but no matter our differences, our hearts are the same color. In the and the beauty of the world lies in the diversity of its people. We hope we have soaked you with affirmation. It is this affirmation that will prepare you for what comes next in your life. When you are faced with challenges, such as a worldwide pandemic, we hope you remember that deep within you is the ability to persevere, learn, and grow. You are not born with a fixed amount of resilience. Like a muscle, you can build it. Draw upon it when you need it. In that process, you will find out who you really are, and we hope you become the very best version of yourself. And finally, as a resurrection community, as the educators that have guided you over the past four years, we hope that we have taught you well and have brought you closer to your God. Congratulations, graduates of 2021. Continue to be well, be strong. We miss you and we wish you much success. Take good care. Students, administration, staff, teachers, family and friends, it is a pleasure to welcome you all to the 2021 Resurrection Catholic Secondary School graduation ceremony. Before I begin, on behalf of the graduating class, I would like to thank everyone that made today possible and everyone who has helped us to get where we are. To the teachers and staff who have taught us so much and have made our learning their priority even during the pandemic, to our parents and guardians and anyone else who gave us love and support throughout high school, we thank you. To my own parents and family who have continuously supported and encouraged me in everything I do, I thank you. It truly is an honor to be the valedictorian for the graduating class of 2021. It's so hard to believe that we have finally reached the end of our high school years. I can remember grade nine orientation like it was yesterday. Our timetables in our hands and everyone on their feet, frantic, struggling to find classrooms, all ready to experience a new chapter in our lives, high school. Reflecting on the four years we have experienced was honestly really challenging, particularly because of everything we missed out on. On Friday, March 13, 2020, the announcement was made that we were going to have an additional two weeks added to our March break because of the quote-unquote coronavirus. I remember how happy we all were to hear this exciting news. It was party time. But little did we know that the weeks before March break would be the last times we would experience normal high school life. In September 2020, we returned to school for our senior year, eagerly anticipating and hopeful that school life would somewhat be normal. But as we entered the forum, it was immediately evident that nothing was normal. Arrows indicated which staircase we could use to go up and down. Signs directed us and indicated that we must keep six meters away from the people we wanted to see the most. Our fresh, happy faces masked, our hands dripping with hand sanitizer, and only half of the student population present in the school during unusual hours. What happened to catching up between classes, talking to your teacher in the halls, hanging out in the forum, researching in the library, going to DECA meetings, cheering on your favorite team, playing volleyball, basketball, field hockey, soccer, football, having assemblies, attending pep rallies, and attending dances. The list goes on and on. We went from seeing one another, teachers, staff, coaches, and administration every day to seeing no one. It is so unfortunate that we had to miss some of the best years of high school due to a pandemic. During lockdown, we spend a lot of time with ourselves. We spend our time at home with our families, most often staring at our screens. For many of us, we also worked at essential part-time jobs. This experience of lockdown has not been easy on anyone. I saw my classmates struggle firsthand trying to find the motivation to do anything. For many of us, it also had a great impact on our mental health. 
COVID-19 impacted us greatly, and through it, I learned the importance of looking at situations from different perspectives. Although it is incredibly sad, the amount of experiences we missed out on, we as students who live in a first world country are so, so incredibly privileged to be able to continue with our education even through a pandemic. We were given the tools and everything we needed in order to be successful in earning our diplomas. Throughout this pandemic, it has been easy to focus on the negatives, but we have to think about the bigger picture in order for us to truly understand and come to terms with the cards we are dealt. We have to think about the students all around the world who stopped going to school to take care of themselves and their families due to the pandemic. We must think of those who do not get the same opportunities as we do and be grateful for what we have. Our intense exposure to the internet in many ways allows us to take what we have for granted. But we must never forget how fortunate we are to have what we have. We can view our experiences during the pandemic as entirely negative, or we can focus on the positives and use our optimism and hope to move us forward. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. God has a plan for all of us, and everything happens for a reason, even if we don't understand it at the time. We have all learned so much during the pandemic. I personally have learned the importance of putting the best version of yourself out there because that's when you're able to maximize the impact you have on other people's lives. I've learned how important it is to be kind and to be patient with yourself in order to put 100% of ourselves into everything that we do. Yes, we all make mistakes, but according to Rachel Wolchin, it is not how we make them that matters, but rather how we correct them that defines us. Use those mistakes to move forward because you are alive. Don't let that mark consume you because at the end of the day, there is so much good in your life. Life is so incredibly beautiful and we are such fortunate people. We are all capable and there is so much potential in each and every one of us. We are such a unique and diverse group of students, and I think of all of you, and I know that I can name at least one thing that each of you are passionate about. It is now time to pursue that passion, keep dreaming it, creating it, and developing it, and make change in your own life, the lives of others, and the world. Our time in high school has gone by way too fast, and it makes me realize how short our time on earth is. As youth, we must use our power to inspire change and eliminate the negativity and hatred in the world. Our graduating class is going into the history books and our children will be interviewing us for their school projects, asking us what it was like during the COVID-19 pandemic. What stories will we tell them? What impression will we pass on to them? In the precious years that we have been together, I am so grateful to have met each and every one of you. Although we are all different in our own ways and we all come from such different places, we are all, all now earning the same diploma. I'm so, so excited to see what the future has in store for all of us. Despite the worldwide pandemic and despite the terrible tragedies happening in our world right now, we focused, we worked, we studied, and we passed. And here we are now graduating from high school. We did it. Graduates, Life is short, so be who you want to be and love freely. Believe in who you are and be the best version of yourself. In the words of Drake, live without pretending, love without depending, listen without defending, and speak without offending. Congratulations, Resurrection graduates, and thank you.
Loving God, we ask for you to bless our graduates. May Christ open their hearts. May they be guided by love with a strong moral compass, with a thirst for justice and knowledge. May they have the grace to rise above adversity and know peace deep within. God, be with them as they move beyond this community and become peacemakers and change makers. Give them compassionate hearts filled with hope and strength so that they may share their gifts with others. We pray with thanksgiving for all the family, staff, and friends who have brought our graduates to this very moment, shining a light on their pathway. Bless them too, O Lord, for they are good and faithful light bearers. We ask you, God of our journeys, to bless our graduates with faith and hope so that as they move beyond our community, their future will be filled with peace. And may God bless each one of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.